Hey everyone, Susie here, and for today's video, we're going to talk about summoning, when should you summon, and why a lot of you should definitely not pull on Thursday. Alright, so we've been waiting a while uh, to summon for a lot of people saving, waiting, waiting, waiting for the new heroes to come, and well, they're not here yet, but Lust is. And for a lot of people, Lust is a new hero because not everyone was here for this event. Or you missed her. You tried and you failed, right? Or you have her and you want Awaken 1. Awaken 2, Awaken 3, Awaken 5. I'm going to... I want Awaken 5 Lust. I'm going for it. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> and along with Lust, of course, comes Arrogance, who is amazing. And again, an Awaken 5 Arrogance. I just got mine to Awaken 5 recently with buying the Soul Stone from the shop. He's so insane now. Like, he's so good, especially with the Bond pair of both of them. So I think when it comes down to it, I'm going to talk about the whole banner swapping thing again, in case you guys are new to that topic. But... When it comes to divine summoning, your legendary crystals, or the spirit invocation, the rare summoning crystals, the blues or the yellows, I think most people should summon this weekend, unless you've already got lust to a point you're very happy with, like Awaken 5, um, or you're willing to use soul stones to get her there eventually, if you got very, very lucky with them. Um, but I don't think, or if I guess if he, okay. If you already have Lust, and you have at least an A1, and... I guess, oh no, her A1... Yeah, it's good. <laughs> um, then maybe you save for Kigiri, the next limited, if you're free to play, and low spend, and you don't... It might be, like, let's say in two or three weeks, they're finally ready, and we have the next limited hero already. Um, then you'd be frustrated that you spent everything right. But it's not, if it's like a month away, you could absolutely get 250 summons again within a month. And that's including diamonds and then selling rares for more diamonds, remember. So I think it's okay for most people to go for this unless you're a, a, chill, unless you're a very chill player and you don't do all the events to get the rewards. Like the basic normal events, I mean. Um, if you don't log in every day, if you're not doing higher guild boss or doing any Titanic Ruins because you're very new. You might struggle to get that many, and you might want to save for Kigiri, but that's... I still really think that if you're in that position, you probably don't have Lust. And if that's the case, you should get Lust. She's so good. And if anything, you're just going to hope you get lucky with Kigiri whenever he comes. Whenever, but we don't know. What if this whole banner patch situation takes another month? And then you miss Lust? Like, I don't think people should miss Lust because they're waiting for Kigiri. Because I think Lust is insane and every account should have a Lust. And even if you don't have Arrogance, you can get Arrogance normally. So don't, don't stress if you don't have Arrogance. Um, we're going to have her event back as well. And then at the same time is Silas and Vierna. So this is where the pity swapping and waiting till Friday comes in. So if you guys haven't seen us talk about this in other videos, what I mean is, let's, you know, it takes 250 summons to get lost. So within that, you're going to hit a pity. Even if your last legend, let's assume you hit a legendary on your last summon. So you're zero into your pity, right? 220 is a 100% guarantee. But after 200 is when the, the rates start going up. So you know you're getting lost for sure. But if you summon 250 only on the Lust banner and no nothing else, you could hit your guarantee and then get your guaranteed Lust, right? Or you could hit your guarantee, well, you could hit your guarantee early because it'll be before 250 and it could be Lust and then that's it. If you get Lust early, like as in like later early, I want to say which doesn't make sense, but it, I think you know what I mean. Like, if you pull 100 plus summons and then you get lust, that's not a good thing. Unless you're limited and that's scraping and that's all you have. But really, you want to pull, like, 
Unless you get less super early and you're just done with the banner, good job. Easy clap. Keep pulling on the 15 times, try to get more copies. Great. They get her in like 20, 30, 50 summons, you know? But if you pull, let's say you pull 180 and you don't have a legendary yet, you know you're going to get one within the next 20, 30, 40, 100% guarantee you're going to get one within the next 40. So switch to the banner for Silas and Vierna. Pop a, pop a guaranteed legendary by hitting your pity. And then switch back and pull that, let's say you've stopped at 190. Or 180. Okay, 180 I already said. Let's say you stop at 180. Um, and that means you have to pull 30, 50 more to get lost. Boom. But you're guaranteed to have that happen. So in, by doing so, you're guaranteeing yourself two heroes for the cost of only 300 summons. Guaranteed. Worst case scenario, right? Worst case scenario, it's 300 summons for two heroes, which is better than 440 possible summons for two heroes. That's the whole point of pity swapping, is the idea of if you hit a... You, Let's say you pull 220 on the lost banner, you get a you get a lost, you're done. Then you swap to this banner and try to get a Silas, and you pull another 220. That can happen. But if you pity swap with that, switch to a different banner before you hit that, and then you pull it to just get to the 250, you're at least getting a cheaper lust. That's 100 percent guarantee and not gambling. So I hope that all makes sense. If you guys want to see it in action, um, I will probably do my summons as well in Pity Swap once, at least, just so I'm not wasting. I don't, I want an A5 Silas, I have an A4, I really want that A5, he's so insane. I want my OP crazy Silas, I'm, I'll pull some extra for it. And then, yeah, that's, that's kind of how that works. So again, everyone should summon this weekend unless you have an A5 lust. Or an A4 lust and you're willing to use a soul stone on her to get her A5, right? And if that's not you, you should pull. I really think so. She's just a great hero to have. Um, if you, but, but you should wait till Friday if you have 200 plus summons to play with. Maybe even only 180 because, you know, we, we um, can do the swapping back and forth. Well, it's three. I'll say at least, two, okay, 200. At least 200 to do the swapping back and forth, knowing that you're going to also sell your rares and get more diamonds, right? And keeping in mind the total diamonds you have as well. Um, that way you can pull, swap to the other banner, switch, and go back and get your lost room. And also remembering, this is over the weekend, so it's till the 23rd, so it's till Monday. So you're, you're going to be fine, right? You're going to be fine. If you don't quite get there on Friday... Um, but all right, again, who should pull on Thursday? Only people that have a little bit of summons and not enough for a guarantee. And you're just going to pull your 20 and hope for the best. Pull your 50 and hope for the best. Less than 100, fresh off of pity. Hope for the best. That's the people should wait on Thursday, right? Right? If you don't have, or like, you know, 150. Um, you go ahead and just go ahead and pull on Thursday. I mean, go just go ahead because... You, the, keep in mind, even if you don't have 250... You still can get lost, and you still can get it early. At the end of the day, it's still, if you ignore the fact that there's a guaranteed hero, just think of this as a 15 times rate up banner for Lust and Arrogance, because it is as well. This is a great banner to hope to get a Lust and or Arrogance on, right? So it's still a good reason to pull. All right, now, Saturday, we have an amazing event too, so let's quickly talk about that one. And this is Iovar and Carnelian. I don't have either one of them. I'm pulling everything and I have enough to get a guaranteed Lord because I will hit a 200 pity because I have a ton of ancients because the last time I had W gold, I bought all of the packs last week for, well, all the packs I could to get <laughs> more ancient crystals. That was so bad. Okay, it's fine. No regrets. No regrets. Um, so I have a guaranteed legendary Lord no, next time I pull my ancients. So I'm, I'm really hoping that's Iovar. He's amazing. I don't know if you guys have seen his video. It wasn't out when he first came out. He had no video, then they added it a little late. But so freaking cool. He's so OP. Amazing in Guild War as well. But 
I love him. I love his look. He's he was one of my most he is my most wanted probably right now. Honestly. I, I got Ardea. I had wanted her. I'm barely using her. That hurts. Um Iovar and I guess Valderon are my most wanted now. The big fancy legendary lords, go figure. But yeah, at hundred percent good reason to pull. Even Carnelian here. She seemed weird at first. A lot of people didn't like her when she first came out. So you might see some weird... If you watch old videos, people might be like, meh, I don't know about her. Um, but it's because she's quirky. But she really, really shines in uh, Titanic Ruins and Guild War. Like, she's just a really good hero. Even um, Arena, I've seen some usage. But... I, yeah, I really want her for Titanic Ruin. She's a game changer there, honestly. And absolutely huge for helping to keep your team alive. It's just, it's just a fun uh, kit here overall. And I, yeah, really, really, really want her. Unyield, there it is, the unyielding. I was like, where's the unyielding here with her talent? So cool. Okay, guys, so hope that helps the conversation a little bit. Wait until Friday if you guys have a lot of summons and you want to try to take advantage of guaranteeing yourself two heroes for less than the cost of two heroes with a pity. You know, guaranteed, not a question. I think that's what most people want. Um, and if you're just pulling a little bit, don't be too discouraged. If you don't have enough, try to get lost anyway if you don't have her yet. And then we will worry about Kigiri and the future heroes when the patch happens and we know it's coming. But until then, don't worry about it. We don't. It could take a month. It could take two months. It could take three months. We don't know what's going on. Do they even know what's going on? I don't know. But yeah, I think it's worth it. Go for it. Get your lust, people. Get your lust or get your awakenings for your lust. Stress about the other stuff later. Stop having the FOMO. Just have some fun and play the game. 